ye shall no not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you." So, I, I don't know about you, but if I'm standing there, I'm, I'm looking at this huge multitude out there outside the city, and I'm hearing, we're not going to have to fight this. I'm scratching my head saying, I, I have no idea how this is going to work. But isn't that an amazing thing about following God's prophets, is you don't always have to understand all the whys and the wherefores. He gives you prophetic statements, and you use your agency to decide to either believe and trust and follow or not. He speaks the truth. He invites us to trust, and if we do, we are led by the iron rod to the tree of salvation. There, so, even though these people aren't going to have to fight the battle, they will have to work on the battle internally in their own hearts and minds. Am I going to choose to trust God in the face of my perceived reality? What am I going to do? So, God will always allow us that agency to choose him or to turn away because of fear. It's a beautiful concept, Taylor, this idea that hmm, they actually did have to fight a battle. It just wasn't with swords and spears and arrows. It was an internal battle of of the degree to which I'm going to engage in trusting God and following the prophet and the, the inspiration that came.